the last hour. We showed it to you a little bit at five o'clock. If you're a little squeamish about things, you may want to turn away from the TV or just kind of squint with your eye. It's as large as a yardstick. It has a mouth like a suction cup and it's filled with razor blades living in creeks around western New York. We sent Matt Bovee to check it out. He's out in West Seneca early this morning. Matt, tell us all about it. Andy, aren't they just disgusting? Well, those sea lampreys, better known by many as, get this, the vampires of the Great Lakes. Well, they're swimming right under my feet right now, and these things live off of sucking blood. Now, as Andy said, if you're squeamish, put your cereal down this morning. Take a look at these guys. You said it. They're a couple feet long. Very, very different. They are fish. No connection to eels, although they do look similar. No gills, no fins, no bones, but they have a circular mouth filled with sharp teeth and a sharp tongue. They latch on to other fish. They then suck the blood out of other fish and get this. In their adult lifetime, which is about 18 months long, they take down alone between 40 and 60 pounds of fish. Now, if you're wondering, can I go in Cayuga Creek where these sea lampreys are? Can I go in Lake Erie? We have good news. They don't attack us. They only go after cold-blooded things, and since we're warm-blooded, we really have nothing to worry about with sea lamprey. And as soon as I say that they suck blood, people get really nervous, like they don't ever want to get in the lakes, but that's not a problem at all. Now, a lot of people wondering this morning, what will be happening with these sea lampreys? Well, they've been here since about the 1800s. The creature itself is over a million years old. They're right here in Cayuga Creek. They're in several other creeks in the area. Later this week on Friday, U.S. Wildlife and Fish Services will start to pour a chemical into the water. It's called THM. It's a special lamprecide. It will not affect anything that you would do. You can go swimming. You can still fish. Do any of that stuff. It is just used and intended on limiting the reproduction of those sea lampreys because if that isn't done, they can just really kill off a lot of the fish population. One out of every seven fish that they attack actually lives. So once a sea lamprey attacks, then there is obviously some serious damage. So they just kind of want to control that. So once again, don't worry, they won't hurt you. But if you see one, might want to avoid it. They're just gross, Andy. They are creepy. I noticed you're not very far out into the water early this morning, too, Matt. Uh, they are a creepy-looking fish. I've actually encountered them uh, in and around the creeks of West.